Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cynical. Just thought I'd give you a real quick update on the Kingdom Hearts, I guess, entire situation. Uh, as you guys should know, tonight was the very final showing of the Kingdom Hearts Second Breath concert. This was the one that I was kind of holding out for as I sort of had my money on this possibly being a place where they would unveil uh, the next information for anything to do with Kingdom Hearts, mainly looking at Missing Link. Unfortunately, uh, just to cut this pretty short, nothing ended up coming out. Nomura actually took the stage and mentioned no news. But there was actually something that Nomura did mention during this concert, which I find to be very intriguing. Uh, so just to go over this real quick, this is coming from Abo. Thank you so much to Abo, by the way. Uh, this person has been doing an amazing job over the years, pretty much covering any of the exclusive stuff that is said at these concerts, reporting it back to Twitter. Uh, and apparently Nomura said that uh, last year there was an event that affected Kingdom Hearts after last year's Kingdom Hearts event. I'm assuming uh, that Nomura is referring to that of the 20th anniversary event. Crazy thing too is uh, apparently Yoko Shimomura uh, was also on stage and she had no idea that he was going to um, reveal this, talk about this, and that she didn't even know that there was actually something that happened last year to the point of an incident actually affecting the series. And by affecting, I'm assuming that this is in relation to just general development. Uh, she asked, apparently, is it okay now? Nomura then responded, oh, you don't know, as in like, oh, you haven't been informed, and he went on to say that he'll explain behind the scenes. He didn't go into any other further information about this, but very interesting that he publicly unveiled this. I guess maybe he felt like he needed to sort of uh, keep people in the loop as to sort of what is going on, if in case people were sort of expecting maybe uh, some information to come out. But it's just very interesting to publicly unveil this. What this could be, I have no idea. It does make me think it's something like development related. As we know recently, uh, there was actually the uh, president takeover of Square Enix. Yosuke Matsuda has recently stepped down from being the Square Enix president and has been replaced uh, by Takashi Kiryu, uh, who I don't really know that much about. I uh, do know though that apparently this dude has uh, quite a big interest towards the whole crypto NFT scene, which is a little bit worrying. But aside from that, uh, it's a pretty big changeover. And so I wonder if slight changes in roles and positions, management and stuff, um, has possibly been affected by this. However, this is a very recent thing, though a change like this could affect uh, stuff to do with the actual company uh, months prior before the actual takeover. Or if it's more so Disney-sided, where with Kingdom Hearts 4, especially when like looking towards how it looks like it's going to start using some of Disney's other properties, if certain uh, contracts and licensing agreements have been causing some issues because I think it's pretty obvious at this point that uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to feature Star Wars. Maybe some troubles revolving around that side of things. I'm honestly unsure. It's a very interesting thing to reveal to the audience, but I think it's in the realm of like, maybe Nomura just felt the need to like, kind of just keep people in the loop. Otherwise, obviously us as a community, we had no idea there was anything going on in regards to any incident or something that's directly impacted the series or the development of which that happened last year up until right now with him revealing that. I just want to bring up this other tweet from Xenosaga. Uh, they weren't actually in attendance at the Second Breath concert, but they did mention in a tweet, uh, no news happened at the Kingdom Hearts concert, but apparently there was a huge incident that happened last October with specifying that this happened back in October. Uh, Xenosaga, like I mentioned, personally mentioned that they weren't in attendance and they don't exactly know what Nomura said. Um, so I don't know where they're getting this specific October date from. I cannot confirm or concrete that's exactly what was said there. But what is interesting, if we do look at an incident that happened in regards to Square Enix back in October of last year, there was actually a massive info breach towards Final Fantasy XIV in regards to a hacker getting all sorts of account information, uh, mainly passwords. There was a massive security breach. And so it kind of makes me think, 
Um, was it just Final Fantasy XIV that got breached back in October? Was there other things, other internal data, other stuff that's meant to be kept and left well alone from the public eye and out of people's hands? Wouldn't of course be the first time that Square Enix has received a security breach. Obviously, if we think back to uh, early 2018, if we think about all the stuff that was pretty much leaked out of Square Enix's FTP server, including a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, images and stuff that basically revealed that Monsters Inc. is going to be in the game. Heaps of development images. So yeah, really interesting to reveal this. I hope it hasn't impacted Kingdom Hearts to a point where this is going to cause a mass delay towards mainly looking at Kingdom Hearts 4. We went through that hellscape uh, looking at the Kingdom Hearts 3 development, so I would hate for us to have to go through something like that again, and especially for Square Enix's sake as well. Abo did mention that apparently Tetsu Nomura's facial expressions were like he was shocked as if something really bad with the series did happen but went on to say that it seems like things are okay now so whatever it is I'm very intrigued um but I hope it hasn't uh, caused massive impacts towards you know again the development because Let's just not go through that again. In regards though to anything Kingdom Hearts related, uh, I'm honestly a little bit unsure at this point. Like I have been saying, the D23 event that is happening September of this year I think is a pretty safe bet, but from here until September, I don't know, I guess like any month is viable. I am holding out though for something to do with Missing Link, uh, just because like I feel like Square Enix do want to get it out this year. I hope it is a 2023 release. The Missing Link beta was in January, so that should give us a fair idea that the game isn't too far off. I would say it'll be sometime very soon that we hear more about Missing Link. Another trailer that will give us that release date. However guys, uh, that is all for today. Today, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.